Hey guys, so today is Sunday or hashtag 365 days of samples. I was able to use up a couple of products and I am decluttering one item that I've been using and some products I didn't even touch. So let's just jump in and see what all I did this week. So the first thing I used up was from New Face by Carol Cole. This is the Prep and Glow Cleanse Exfoliate Hydrate Dual Sided Cloth. Now I did not save the cloth, but I do want to say I loved this product. It was an amazing product. One side of the cloth was smooth and the other side had little bumps on it that you could use to exfoliate your face. I do think it took off my makeup beautifully. You would first do the soft side all over your face to cleanse your face and then you flip it over and exfoliate with the beads and it was definitely a hydrating cloth it did not bother my eyes I kind of went a little bit around my eyes I didn't did take off my eye makeup with my Neutrogena eye makeup remover before um, going in with this so I didn't have like too much eye makeup on but it didn't irritate my eyes this is oil free alcohol and paraben free this was a, a great wipe but it's expensive for you to purchase this at Sephora you get 20 cloths for $20 so that's a dollar per thing um, I know when I use Neutrogena you would get like about 20 for six bucks so this is definitely <coughs> Definitely on the higher end. I have a little doggy over here. Let me see if I can show you guys. Hi. Are you a toy? Yeah. He's crazy. So yeah, this is definitely more pricey than the Neutrogena or majority of makeup remover wipes that are out there that we purchase. So I will not be buying this. I'm just going to stick with a cleanser and my makeup eraser wipe, which is reusable. You can machine wash that baby. I do have a review and demo down below for it. But yeah, this was a really nice product, but it needs to be cheaper. Next item was from Tatcha. This is the Indigo Soothing Triple Recovery Cream. And it is that indigo color, so that was kind of interesting when I first opened it. I think you can maybe see some remnants of it. Um, you only need a small amount all over your face, but the color kind of stood out for me. I was like, oh no, is this going to blend well? It does blend well into your skin. I don't think it was as hydrating as I was expecting this cream to be, and this is pricey. So I think it's kind of not worth the price for you to get this cream. There are definitely better creams out there that are a little bit cheaper. Um, it does have like the Japanese indigo extract, oatmeal, and like rice bran, green tea, red algae. So it definitely has a lot of better ingredients for you. But I feel like it didn't give me what I needed for this product to do on my skin. So I'm going to pass on repurchasing that. And then, man, if you guys have been with me in the struggle of this brand, this is the Loving Proof Prime Style Extender. And I actually finished this today. I just kind of blow dried my hair. I haven't done much to it. I did film a get ready with me for this makeup look. If you guys are interested, it will either be posting this week or next week. I am, real quick, going out of town starting this upcoming Saturday right before Easter and taking all that week off so I will not be doing a sample Sunday next week and probably the next week after that we'll see how my travel back goes but yeah we might be without sample Sunday for two weeks so we'll see what happens I could possibly film this on like Thursday or Friday pre-film it this week for this week but there won't be one next week but um, I'm really happy I'm done with the Living Proof Prime Style Extender I don't think it does much for my hair don't see a difference it's a hair primer it helps elongate either your style I don't think it's worth it I really don't okay so the item I'm decluttering the Kat Von D Locket Foundation in light neutral 45 I used this a good amount of time. I used it pretty much two weeks. I've been scraping it. I still have a lot of progress to go. 
product to go. Um, I've just been looking at my skin and I don't like the way this foundation is sitting on it. I'm not a very big full coverage gal. I prefer like BB creams or light foundations. I mean my favorite is the Urban Decay Naked Fa Skin Foundation and I like the Smashbox BB cream. Smashbox now is cruelty free so I can get that BB cream and light. I loved that BB cream. So I like this one and the Smashbox BB cream. So that's kind of where I'm at. The Kat Von D one was just too full coverage for me. I hate seeing my skin and like you guys know when you put like foundation on your hand and then your hand looks a little creepy with a, you can see the makeup on your hand. It was that effect on my face and I didn't like it. So I didn't purchase it. I got this from for free. I just walked into Sephora and was like, hey, I'm interested in trying out this sample. And she gave me a little pot full of it, which I'm very grateful because if it wasn't for that, I probably would have bought it in full size and tried to use it up. So I'm happy that I got this little sample, no I don't like it, and just I'm going to get rid of it. That's the whole point why you go to, into Sephora is to swatch and try out foundations like that. So yeah, not going to be buying that. Uh, the next thing I've been working on is the Bite Lip Agave Lip Mask. So I'm still working on that first one which is the color Champagne. I just don't gravitate towards these too much and I forget to use them at night. But then again at night these have a color to it. So I don't know when to really use these. I like the natural one for at night, but since I'm using champagne right now, I kind of use that on days that I don't want lipstick, things like that. So I'm almost done with the champagne. I should definitely be done with this in the next couple of days. Then I'll move on to the natural and that'll be a little bit more faster to use up. Next thing I'm still working on is actually the fragrance. I was surprised that I was still using this. Normally I go through fragrance samples pretty easy, like one a week. But um, this is the Atelier Cologne Clementine California. And you can see I have that much left to go. I'm not that big of a fan of the scent, which is why I don't think that I've been using it up. It's also not a spray, it's in like a dropper bottle. So I'm just going to continue to use it. I should definitely be done with this this week, hopefully before I film the, the update for this for Sunday. Um, but yeah, I'm just not that big of a fan of it. It's like a musky clementine scent. I will put the notes right here for you guys, but it's not something that I'm going to rush out and get. Okay, then there's one more item that I was working on. You can't tell the difference, but this is from Loving Bloom. This is the Healing Flower Oil looks like this and I'm still about there. This is going to take forever to use up. Um, I am still going to put this in these projects just to keep my mind on it. To keep remembering that this is something to be using up. Um, I typically don't like doing that just because I know it's going to take it's going to take a couple months, but this is going to be one of those in this. That's why I do 10 items that I'm just going to keep chugging on and trying to work on. So yeah, we'll see how this goes this week. Then there are three items that I did not open or did not touch. The first one is from Wave. This is the Wave Spray. I haven't really been working on it. This is going to take forever as well. Um, I used this... I didn't use this because I typically had my hair straight, so I didn't need a Wave Spray for it. Next product is from Glam Glow. This is the Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. And I didn't reach for this because this was sitting up in my vanity instead of my bathroom downstairs when I do put on moisturizer. So I do need to remember to use this this week. And then the last product is from Borges. This is the Fingo Delicato Active Mud Mask. And I did not do a mask this week. I think I did a Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Gel Mask. But I didn't reach for this. I do want to do a video, but I didn't have time to do one. So I will definitely get on the ball with this product this week. Still working on six items. So we're going into the box to pick out four more. So what I have one. Oh my gosh, these are big. I'm getting to the bigger ones too. Oh gosh, three, four. I got some big ones, guys. 
I got from Hum Beauty. This is the Raw Beauty Green Superfood Powder. So I'll be trying this out. I will probably make a fruit smoothie and pour some of this in it. I did when I received the sample of this with my Urban Decay palette. Saw that Fort Worth Famous or Jaclyn um, said that this tastes like, I can't remember, green, green Monster or something. Like disgusting. Like she said it was gross. So we'll see and that might be interesting to watch me trying what this tastes like. So yeah, that's something I'll be doing this week. Then I have from Cover FX, this is the Custom Enhanced Dropper in the shade Moonlight. And I think I received this from a Sephora Play. Haven't reached for it, but this will probably not be one that I continually have in this product project. But it looks like this. Let's watch it. It's gorgeous. I have never tried these out before. This might be really gorgeous to take though to Florida and kind of mix in with my foundation or apply as a highlight. So there's just a little drop and that is what that looks like. That is gorgeous. I don't know how well you guys can see that but it is beautiful. So I'm really happy to try this product out and Cover FX is cruelty free. I think Hum Nutrition is cruelty free as well. I've been trying to only do cruelty free in that box now. But yeah, that is another product. The next product is from Christoph, Christoph Robin, or Christopher Robin from Winnie the Pooh. I'm just kidding. Um, this is the Regenerating Mask with Rare Prickly Pear Seed Oil. <clears throat> so it's Paraben Silicone SLS Colorant Free. I have not tried this before. I don't really like the scent of it, but I will definitely give this a go. I think I'm, uh, let's see, apply a small amount after shampooing, massage from scalp to ends, add wa water, lather, leave on for two to three minutes, then rinse abundantly. So I'm, it's kind of just like a deep hair mask or deep conditioner. So I'm going to use this this week instead of my Aussie three minute miracle, which I've been trying to use up. And then the next thing, oh my gosh, is another hair product. <laughs> Maybe, okay, we're going to put this back. But this was the Eva NYC Get Glossed Hair Serum. I am trying to use that flower one, so I'm going to put this back right now and just reach into the box. And we have a Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer. So I have the shades Fair and Medium. The two darker shades I cut out and gave to a friend that I knew would love to try it out instead of me have it and use it and throw it away or use it as a contour or bronzer. So yeah, I'll use these two instead of that hair oil. So yeah, those are all the items that I used up this past week and kind of my update on the rest of the products. So thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to subscribe if you would like to see updates on these samples and I'd love to chat with you guys more. So thank you guys so much and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye!